Good afternoon, everybody. This is Brooke. Today we are on Oregon Springs, and today we're this is coffee with Brooke. And today we are going to be doing some chopping of the corn. And um, um, Bernice, um, Farmer Bernice, and I were doing it, and Farmer Bernice has been really busy, so I'm coming on here and doing a little bit of this, and we're going to be chatting about my journey with a nymph. You're thinking, what is a nymph? <laughs> I thought the same thing too, it was weird. But I'm going to be telling you about it and I'm gonna be starting from the very beginning. So everyone, about two months ago, I adopted two goldfish. I adopted a female moor named, well, I named her, um, what was her name? Mimi, I can't think of her name. Her name is Mimi, and she's about, now she's about six months old. I adopted her around four months, so I've had her roughly around two months. And then I adopted a fantail. Well, I'll tell you, it's not a fantail, so, but we'll get to that in a minute. I adopted a fantail and found out it was a boy, and I named him Marlin. He is the sweetest boy around, man. He will sit and beg for food all day long if you get him a chance. So I um, actually had to quarantine Mimi first, and then I quarantined her and quarantined her. And then um, when I adopted Marlin, I actually had to quarantine quarantine him too. But uh, he had a lot of fin damage. Um, he had um, fin rot, and so I treated him and he got better and he has a beautiful fin growth on the back which is amazing I was very happy about that I was kind of sad because he didn't look well when I first got him but he looks beautiful now and he's actually growing pretty good size so I did after they got all better I introduced him to Mimi and at the time I didn't know that it was a boy, but now I do. Of course, found out through him doing, chasing her around and um, that sort of thing. Found out it's actually a boy. So, um, oh, they were getting along perfect. They're the sweetest fish. Um, they came, you know, they'll come up for food. They're eating well, and they are still in their quarantine take up until... I cycle, I have to cycle their huge tank, which uh, takes a while. So I have them in their quarantine tank. And against my wishes, I actually went. Oh, look at this. Look at the mess I did. Sorry, Farmer Bernice. It's kind of messy. <laughs> so I actually, like I said, I went to a pet shop and I found this Fantel theme. It w they said they confirmed it was a female. So I was like, well, you know, maybe another female would actually stop him from chasing Mimi around so much because it, she, she looks like she gets exhausted. Or I actually was going to separate her and actually um, put her in a temporary tank until I decided to um, actually get another big tank, which probably end up doing in the long run. <laughs> so. I adopted this fantail, and sadly, um, with getting fish at pet shops, they don't always be, are healthy. It, she just didn't make it, and I did, I did explain that in another video, and it was the saddest thing. It was sad. It was super sad. I was sad for like days because she was beautiful. She had a lot of blue coloring on her, which is kind of unique. She was kind of blue, sky blue, which I've, I've never seen a fantail like that. But um, I had a few questions because the more I looked at her, the female, I started questioning why my fantail looked different from the tail view of him. He just didn't look like a fantail. So I was started asking questions on some forums and did some background of background and trying to figure out what the heck is he really a fan to <laughs> so I'm just gonna give you a little information here so I'm gonna tell you 
a single tail, a single tail goldfish has a single tail, and single tail goldfish are shabunkins, com comets, commons, and koi. Fish like that have a single tail, and they really don't have that. They can actually swim pretty well. They don't have really any trouble swimming. Now, with a fancy goldfish, that's what I have. This fancy. They actually have. They are actually two tailed. Their their tail come. They're like tail. Like they have two tails in the back. So that's the difference. And they're that's the difference you can tell between a fancy and a common. Plus, also, they're kind of got short and stubby bodies. So, and my boy was was chubby, but had a single tail. <laughs> So, um, I started questioning, questioning if he was actually a purebred, um, fantail. So, after, um, you know, I studied and studied. It was, like, days of, like, you know, um, so, I posted a picture in a forum and I found out what he really is. So, I'm going to be telling you what he is. He is actually a nymph. So, <laughs> here we come back. The journey with the nymphs is his journey with him. So, that is what my fan tale is. He's actually a nymph. Now, you're wondering what a nymph is. So, I'm going to kind of give a little information that I wrote out. Okay, so I'm going to just sit here for a second. Let me see. I'm just going to back up here and tell you. A nymph to be a breed that is particularly extinct. So, it's not very common to find a nymph anymore. I guess, at one point, they may have been popular in the hobby. But, like with anything, they go in and out. And that's what I wrote. It's like a gen... It's, it's a genetic variation of a throwback that pops up in, um... In fancies. So, like, let's say you breed... a a fantail to a, a randa. You might get a randa with a single tail. It just or or you could breed a you could breed a comet to a a fantail and get half the you know like a couple babies with a single tail like a comet with the longer fins. So and it said that they usually pop up in fan tails or veil tail to be single tail. So that was very interesting. I've never even heard about that. So my boys, my boys basically a nymph and a lot of, have to say this the sad way, a lot of breeders don't consider them to be show quality. So either they sell them to pet shops for feeders or pets, you know, just pets. For people to buy or they call them so basically my boy is a call fish or a misfit i call him a misfit so so i was talking to actually uh i don't call her a breeder but she knows a lot about goldfish she thinks that he's actually was actually probably mix a mix between a fantail and a veil tail so he's, he might have the long fins like a veil tail and have the body like a fantail. And basically, um, to me, they kind of look the same. It's just the size of the tail. And because his tail is getting pretty long. So I just wanted to tell you the journey with the nymphs. And it's been very challenging. They are not the easiest pets. There has been times that I've come home and... Oh, I'm full. Oh, great. Was I full the whole time? I don't know. So, I'm going to get out of here. So, we can finish our coffee with Brooke. So, and, well, I missed a few, didn't I? Hmm. So, <laughs> um, it's been a journey. It's been really hard. I've actually cycled their tank once, and then the pump or the filter went out. Definitely died. So there was, uh, there was a little bit of a problem there. <laughs> so I ended up having to buy, go buy at the store, 
a temporary pump and I had to put them back into the quarantine tank. So <laughs> they're back in their quarantine tank again. So I had I went to the store and got a temporary filter, came home, and guess what? The filter was missing half the parts. So again, I had to take it back to the store, and they were either going to refund me or change the product. So actually, I just got a filter yesterday. So I put the, the pump and the filter back in, so my fish are doing very well. But to the point, fancy goldfish are different than common goldfish. They are not as hardy. So I'm kind of glad that I got maybe the nymph, <laughs> because he seems really, he seemed friendly, he seems healthy. I got him to look beautiful. He, and I'm probably going to include a picture of him in the community post. So you can see the difference in what he looks like. And I I will update you about him. And yes, I am addicted to goldfish. My, my son, who is 14, I can't tell you how many tanks he has. But he has a lot of tanks of fish. And he's got a bunch of... He's got a par two paradise fish you probably never heard about. He's got bettas. He's got guppies. And, and the babies just, the guppies just had babies. So there's more pet fish. And um, he has a cubby, couple killie fish, which maybe I'll have to go into detail about them. So I really just wanted to tell you about the journey with the nim and the journey with my goldfish <laughs> and I, I found out something I didn't even know about and I'm just very thankful that I got to save him and got to enjoy him and maybe he's not show quality but I love him and eventually down the road it could be I'm hopefully spring I'm going to be digging a koi pond or a goldfish pond so in the back of my yard and maybe I will be updating you about that. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy the chat. I'm really enjoying playing on Farm Sim 17. I really actually love, love this game. It's very enjoyable, and I hope to talk to you soon. Don't forget to grab your coffee for the next chat with Brick. Bye!